today we are going to discuss about a infection related to the pelvis it is otherwise called as pelvic abscess what is a pelvic abscess the pelvic abscess means there is a pus collection in the pouch of Douglas so in this manner an infection that will lead to this formation of this abscess and the next thing is about the causes of this pelvic abscess first it is divided into two types common and rare causes common causes mainly includes a abortion procedure if you if you've gone for any abortion procedure you may get this infection and the next thing is pelvic uh, pelvic peritonitis and irritant peritonitis will also occur if there is a contamination with this fetal urine and vernix caseosa meconium and the next thing is pyometra and there will be occurrence of pelvic hematocele this pelvic hematocele mainly seen in tubal pregnancy so these are all the main causes of this pelvic abscess and the rare causes includes if you have any conditions like appendicitis mainly infection of appendix and next thing is if you have a peptic ulcer and next thing is diverticulitis these are all the rare causes of this pelvic abscess so in this manner you can get this infection if you are going to these procedures when it comes to the symptoms of this disease mainly there are four major symptoms first one is there, is, there will be a rise in temperature and the second thing is frequent passage of loose mucoid stool will occur it is otherwise called as rectal tenismus and the third thing is a retention of urine or difficulty in passing urine may occur you may be misdiagnosed as urinary tract infection and the last thing is lower abdominal pain which also you, you will be you, you can misdiagnose as urinary tract infection so the major symptom is passage of or frequent passage of mucoid, loose mucoid stool rectal tenismus these are all the four major symptoms of this pelvic abscess next is about the signs of this disease condition mainly for the general signs mainly includes the patient will be in anxious look and their pulse rate increases and temperature also increases and for the probable signs mainly includes for abdomen and for vagina for abdomen this patient or this person mainly feel a tenderness or rigid in their lower abdomen and the next thing is there will be when on during percussion there will be they felt a some type of mass which may be soft and irregular so this is the probable signs for abdomen and the next thing is about per vagina per vagina mainly your vagina will be hot and tender and your uterus will be pushed anteriorly and there will be your cervix may be painful while touching and you may feel some masses in lateral fornix of your vagina and there will be mass felt in pouch of Douglas so these are all the probable signs for vagina and abdomen and the next thing is about the diagnostic method mainly your gynecologist will perform a blood test this blood test will show a result like mainly increased volume of count and also leukocytosis and the next thing is about for the culture study mainly for the detection of aerobic or anaerobic bacteria in this manner there will be swab collection occurs from your pus mainly infected area and from the high end of your vagina and also from your endocervical canal after this there will be probable diagnosis may occur only through a pelvic ultrasonography through this pelvic ultrasonography we can detect the correct type of infection whether it is affected or not and the last thing is about the and it will be mainly a cultosynthesis this cultosynthesis mainly done through a or it will be performed under a anesthesia this cultosynthesis mainly indicates there will be puncture of pouch of Douglas occurs so in this manner we can diagnose this disease condition and these are all the main diagnostic methods and when it comes to treatment mainly there will be two types of treatment first is pharmacological and second is surgical management 
pharmacological management mainly includes antibiotic therapy for the people who is have less infection mainly given antibiotics like gentamicin which is 2 mg for per 24 hour and cefoxitin will be given as 1 to 2 mg for 6 to 8 hours per hourly and the next or last drug is metronidazole which is about 500 gram which will be also given 6 hours quarterly so these are all the main pharmacological therapy this will be that will be used for this disease condition and when it comes to surgical methods mainly there will be two types of surgeries first is posterior colpotomy this posterior colpotomy mainly done for the draining of pus this draining of pus mainly done through a posterior fornix and the next thing is if this infection gone severe there will be or uh, the last method is hysterectomy hysterectomy is done mainly through the abdominal and we in which through this abdominal hysterectomy that there will be also done a procedure called bilateral salpingo-oophorectomy so in this manner we can prevent the prevent these conditions and after this procedure the pus collected during this procedure will send for a test and drug sensitivity test so these are all about this pelvic abscess next day i will reach you with another topic thank you all have a nice day